Hello boys and girls. We are working on subject pronouns today. And subject pronouns are pronouns such as I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they that take the place of nouns in a sentence. This is a review of something we already did at the beginning of the year. I want to make sure you know it well. So once again, a pronoun replaces a noun. In the sentence, Kyla, Kayla heard the wind, Kayla is a subject noun. You could use the word she to replace Kayla. She heard the wind. Or the wind was howling. It was howling. The children stayed home. They stayed home. Just remember that the pronouns above are subjects. They're taking the place of the subject in the sentence. The pronouns I, you, he, she, it, we, and they are called subject pronouns. These are the pronouns that can be used to replace subjects. Not all pronouns can do that. Remember that pronouns can be singular or plural. Singular ones are I, you, he, she, and it. Plural are we, you, and they because it's more than one. Notice you could be one person, you, or two or more people, you. You could be singular or plural. Look at try it out. Last night, we had a big snowstorm. Where's the subject pronoun? We. I heard loud thunder. I. It woke everyone up. It. We're talking about the thunder. He saw a flash of lightning. He. Are you sure the rain has stopped? You. Once again, you could be one or more than one person. You will work on on your own, choosing a subject to replace the underlying word or words. And remember, you could refer to this chart for information and help. When you find the word, don't just write the word for me. I want you to write the sentences. And over here, you will rewrite this poem, all of the poem. And you will use a subject pronoun to take the place of whatever's underlined. What word will you use to replace Kelly or Josh or you and I, a mouse, Kim and Casey, this day? And underline whatever subject pronoun you choose. Do a good job.